What's up team handsome guy, it's your boy Ryan back with another YouTube video and today I'm going to show you guys a little bit or actually three specific ways you can actually dress up a pair of sneakers. Now before I go in and tell you about the outfits and show you the outfits, I wanted to talk about the point of to do this effectively you really have to get the right pair of sneakers. Now not every pair of sneakers is going to work for this and I know a lot of you guys watching this are like, Ryan you were so anti-sneaker so long ago. Um, you know, like a year ago, I gave up sneakers. I was only wearing dress shoes for a little over a year, but I have since rekindled my love for sneakers and I've been wearing them more and more, but I only wear very strategic and specific sneakers to give my overall aesthetic and look a more luxurious and more dressed up type of vibe. Now that the type of sneaker, like I said, that you use is going to be very specific. So with that said, the best color that I know that you can do this with and dress up very easily is black. And you can use white sneakers, and I'll probably do another video about that, how to dress up white sneakers in the future. But for right now, if you're trying to like, if you're working in a creative type environment, if you're working in a business casual, it's best to probably stick with black sneakers just because you can, they're just, it's very easy to dress those up. So um, let me talk about the, the way the sneakers should look. All right, so there's a ton of different brands out there that make what they call fashion sneakers. And sneakers that are kind of blurring the lines between a dress shoe and a sneaker. And I think you should stick to a classic one, a silhouette similar to this one. This is actually from a brand called House of Future. Um, I am nowhere sponsored by House of Future. I just found their company online, I ordered them. And the reason I did is because this is actually a micro leather. It's uh, like a synthetic material, it's not real leather. But I actually like the way it looks from far away because it kind of gives it that dressed up vibe, that more luxurious vibe. Um, so if you want the, this type of shoe, this silhouette is made by a ton of different brands. A ton of people make shoes like this and a lot of other ones work as well. Adidas makes gazelles, which you can kind of get away with. Adidas has a Stan Smith. There's a lot of options, but if you can stick with a silhouette just like this, a real clean, minimalist sneaker, you will be fine. If you want, I'll put a link to these guys below. I'm gonna reach out to them after I make this video and see if they'll actually throw me a discount code, um, but I'm not gonna guarantee that. So this is, um, like I said, it was $100. Um, they have a ton of different colors too. A brown might be in my future as well, but I really like these. They're comfortable, they're minimal, they're clean. And the reason I went with the micro leather that kind of like attracted me to them was because they're, um, more repellent to water. You don't have to treat them with any leather. So I'm going to get more oil, test them out. But with that said, this type of silhouette is the best sneaker to use to dress up effortlessly. Okay, and one more point before I show you guys the outfits. When it comes to dressing up sneakers, make sure it's cool in your environment. I know a lot of business casual type of dress codes are very, um, like leaning way more towards casual and it's not as um, big deal to wear sneakers, to wear shorts. As long as you kind of overall aesthetic is very clean, clean cut and dressed up, you will be fine. So with that said, let me show you guys three ways to use those sneakers to dress up to work in like a business casual, creative casual type of environment. All right, so the first outfit you're gonna see me wearing, this is actually um, like a really cool and casual outfit. It's actually just Pack Sun uh, skinniest denim jeans with the black and white House of Future shoes. I threw my cuff on there. You don't have to throw a cuff on there. I just like to do it to kind of break up the outfit. Um, and I'm rocking a white express polo. This outfit was a very cheap outfit to throw together, but it's very, um, it's very business casually. It's very well put together. And in my guess, in probably 95% of all business casual environments, that outfit will be okay. And you'll look stylish. You'll look better than most of the people there. And it's comfortable. It's cool. If you work in a hot environment, it's not very you know stuffy and it's just a very casual outfit and you can rock it um, one thing I want to point out is the accessories do matter when you're starting to dress things up or appear more dressed up wearing casual stuff the belt I, I chose here is actually a dress belt um, it's from Anson belt and buckle um, I've done videos about them before they've sponsored some videos from me you'll see them I'll drop a link below I think they make the best belts I think they're awesome um, so if you can afford to grab one of those the buckle and the shinier leather belt kind of add to the overall look of the outfit if you were looking at it, I know my shirt's probably covering it right now but you get the point point. and then I also threw in the Vincero watch which I got a discount code I'll throw that below as well it's a luxurious watch with a luxurious belt with the luxurious kind of looking sneakers overall put the outfit together and make it very um, overall dressed up so like I said that's outfit number one let's move on to outfit number two all right so outfit number two I did it's the same denim with the same shoes the same polo all I did was throw on the gray sweater this adds kind of a little more creative casual vibe the the, the layering kind of dresses it up just a bit but all in all this the sweaters from ASOS I'll drop a link below as well to grab that it's like a $15 sweater but just the addition of that lightweight layer 
adds to the overall vibe of it being really dressed up. So, I mean, I know that was a simple switch, but in a creative environment, like it, you don't really have to vary too much from your wardrobe. You can use utilize a lot of the same things. They call it like a capsule type of wardrobe. And if you're following my street sharp, these are basic pieces that every dude should have. Um, so let's move on to outfit number three. All right, so outfit number three, I see I'm using the same black denim. These are the PacSun skinniest denim, the House of Future black shoes, but any black shoe similar to this one will work. Um, I took off the sweater and I added on the black lightweight blazer. The one I'm wearing is from Uniqlo. I'll link to that one below as well. It's a very casual type of blazer. It's really lightweight and it just adds to the more put together feel of the outfit. This is probably the most dressed up out of all of them. And you could, I mean, like you said, you can get away with wearing this in a lot of different scenarios. Um, like you could probably even wear it to like a wedding. You could probably wear it to like a formal dinner. I mean, I don't know, the, you know, don't quote me on any of that, but you have to read the scenarios and read what you think people are going to wear. But all three of these outfits are very cool and very casual and just give off a more dressy vibe as opposed to if you're just wearing regular sneakers. So, um, and I'm going to throw in a, a ringer for all my fashion forward guys out there. You can actually wear these with shorts as well. As you can see, I'm, gonna, I'm rocking them right now. Um, you can wear them with the gray sweater. You can wear the same outfit just with a pair of shorts. And this is kind of pushing the boundaries fashion forward. I know a blazer with shorts for a lot of people is like, oh my God, I don't know. But if you're willing to step out of your comfort zone and try it out, I think you'll be pleasantly surprised with the results you get. Just make sure that it's allowed in your creative type work environment or if it's a really strict business casual. But I want to throw this out there. These are three or actually four ways that I would dress up a pair of sneakers. But just be mindful, not all sneakers can be dressed up. They have to have this minimal type aesthetic. And like I said, there's a ton of different brands that have shoes similar to this and all kinds of luxurious materials. But you just want to have that overall minimal, very clean, um, aesthetic type of vibe. So that's it for this video. I hope you guys enjoy it. And this is how to dress up black sneakers. If you guys like these videos where I'm just taking specific items and showing you ways to wear it, I always love to know in the comments. And also if you want me to do other shoes like this, drop those below as well. I'm always looking for uh, new ideas for videos and things to make uh, you guys enjoy my content even more. So that's it for this video. Talk to you guys later.